objective of the project I will describe in this video is to determine if solar energy can be used to make distilled water and convert hard water or salty water into drinkable water. Our solar collectors on wooden stands. The collectors measure four foot by eight foot and are therefore full size and are of an industrial type. The importance here is that solar energy does not cost anything. The sun shines and it's free to us. The sun shines and it's free to us. Our job is to determine if we can take this free sun energy and make high enough temperatures in these devices to make steam. In the bottom is an absorber, which is a piece of copper metal painted black or copper tubes through which the water runs and is heated from the absorber. The absorber is at about this level. Uh, and there is simply a box around it and it's a transparent insulator. In fact, are a set of baffles that prevent re-radiation of the light, loss of the heat from infrared radiation to the dark sky or to, in fact, the blue sky. So the thing operates on a mode of preventing convection and re-radiation, and therefore allows these collectors to get uh, almost 100 degrees hotter. This is a thermocouple. It's an it's a electrical device that sticks into the water stream, and measures the temperature, and is transmitted according to these uh, thermocouple leads back underground into the trailer where the data is recorded. And now the other system is 234, 237, 235, 237, 237, and the ambient is now 88 degrees. This is considered a reasonably good day in Sarasota, Florida. Earlier, this is our flash tank. In this case, instead of having the steam go into our condenser unit, we decided to have it travel into a five gallon glass jug. To see that, that's why we put this temporary system in here. Normally, we don't do it this way. It's opening a valve now to let the, uh... can you hear it? You can see the steam issuing out of here, and you can hear the boiling in the tank. Can you see the tank jumble around, jump around? Because it is boiling in there. Let it go, Kirk. We discovered that we didn't have the valve wide open. Uh, so you can see the real volume of steam coming out of here. We have now opened the valve full, full fill, and you can see the steam coming out. I'm sorry that we didn't realize it, but the valve was not fully open, and as a consequence, the discharge was not as full as it could be. But you can see now what's actually transpiring here. A bit of steam is coming out of here and the condensation in the uh, bottle is even heavier than before. And this will go on for the ne next uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes or even longer.